Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fisherman Fishing Planet. So I have played Fishing Planet in the past. Uh, I still play it once in a while. I am a huge fishing game fanatic uh, when it comes down to it. I play a lot of VR fishing games and stuff. Um, apart from that, this uh, has completely changed my mind on the title. Um, I do want to let you guys know this is a sponsored video. Uh, what that means is I was paid to make this video by the company um, and to show it off. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, and you can see at the top we have a lot of money uh, of in-game currency. And the reason for that is so I can showcase things. Uh, but what you can do is you can always go to your uh, options and you can go to the profile and you can reset your profile. So I plan to do that after I make this video. That way I can just have some fun. Uh, apart from that... The mouse pointer doesn't work. That's a shadow uh, play I issue with NVIDIA. They know about it and they're fixing it in the next version. So we have to wait for that. So you won't see a mouse cursor, unfortunately. So what's new in the Fisherman? So there's one new location and that is La Cruz uh, in France. Uh, and also a new fishing technique that is called the trolling technique. Where we put down some rods and we're going to pull through a river and try to catch fish that way. So what have they changed exactly? Well, they have changed the fact that it's no longer a free-to-play game. You now pay for the game, and you get all that old included DLC inside of it, uh, and you'll have to purchase new DLC as you go along uh, when they release it. However, the n being off the microtransactions is a huge win for me, uh, and that brought me back to even check out the title. So uh, I've got to say it's it's pretty cool to to have that freedom there uh, and not have a paywall behind it dlc day one will have the predator boat pack um so you'll have a new boat there and uh the new one will be a pre-order for the trophy catch pack uh and you can buy all that dlc inside the game shop as well there are four new fish in this game we have uh the common nays that's in la cruz uh the european weather fish uh that's in the czech republic you got the Sterlet, that's in the uh, Aktuba River in Russia, and the Spotted Gar in the Mudwater River in the USA. Good old Gar. That's going to be fun to catch. There are two new motorboats. You have the Gary Scott Taurus motorboat, uh, and then the Flagman Vega motorboat. So uh, you have a John boat style, a bass boat, and then you have something more like a kind of like a rib or so uh, that we'll use for trolling. Okay, let's do some fishing. We're at the Southern Viaduct at the uh, Cruz River, and we are going to uh, try some trolling fishing through the river. So looking at the weather forecast here, uh, we can see when the fish plan to bite. Looks like right around 7 in the morning. Currently, it is 5 in the morning, so we can adjust time once we get into the game. So let's go fishing. All right, let's hit T for time, and we're going to fast forward to 7 a.m. for that time. All right, so we have one of our rods out here. Here's our boat. Very nice little boat, little rib looking thing. And there's a kayak over there too. Ooh, nice. Let's go ahead and board. Boat fishing is prohibited without an advanced license. Strongly advised to get one. Well, we're going to have to do that. We'll go to buy licenses on that and we'll get an advanced France license and maybe they'll shut up and they'll be happy about it. All right. We are on our boat now. So now we have to start the engine. So we'll hit E for that and we start to pull with our hand. Hey, it only took two pulls and she was good to go. A little bit of power there. Oh, nice. Very cool indeed. Let's go ahead and uh, pull that off down there. So what we need to do now is, we, not in reverse, but we need to uh, get out here to the center of the river. And we're going to go that way towards the balloons. How about that? Let's go ahead and just kill it to zero. And we'll get this thing set up. All right, let's get a nice long cast on this guy. Throw it way out there. There we go. Wonderful. And we'll set it into our uh, little holder right there. We'll get our other one out. That's this bad boy. And we're going to throw this guy out uh, kind of close. About out that way. Ooh, man, you can go way out there. We'll do about right there. And bam. Oh yeah, that sucker goes pretty darn, pretty darn good there. All right, put that in there. We're good to go, and we hit R to go back into our navigation mode. Oh, not that, into this, uh, into our trolling mode here. And we're just gonna go barely forward like that. We're gonna watch and make sure that 
Oh, I just killed the engine. <laughs> I just killed the engine. Oops. That was not meant to be. All right, let's go ahead and uh, about 2% and let's get it to the center here like that. All right, so now we should be good. Get back out here and be ready to take one of these if we have to. Do we have a fish on that guy? We might. Um, We do. We have a fish. Okay, let's just bring him up. We're going to bring our drag up to there. There we go. Uh, it's not seeming like it's a big fish from what I can tell. But it is a fish nonetheless. What are you? Come here, you. Oh, look at that. It's a young Wells catfish. I'm going to go ahead and release him. We're just catching and releasing today, but we're having some fun doing some trolling. Um, not that type of trolling. Uh, all the way up. Boom. There we go. I couldn't tell, you know, based off the tip what it was doing, so we'll keep an eye on it. A little bit of forward power here. We're just trolling about two. Really? Another one already? And another one on that side. Oh, I keep killing the engine because I want to hit E. <laughs> I want to hit E. I don't know why. But I do. I got to hit R. Oops. There we go. Now I can... We're going to grab this guy. I think we got a fish on this one. Yes, we do. Wow. We're just reeling this thing in like it's nothing. No, I don't think we have a fish on this one, honestly. We're kind of an idiot on that one. Let's recast this guy out. If there is one out there, it's... Oh, that was a terrible cast. Terrible, terrible cast. Let's go ahead and <laughs> try, try much better on that one. Way out there. There we go. And boom. Man, having two at the same time is is pretty crazy. Let's go a little slower than that. Here we go. About like this. Are we looking on the river? Looking good. Here we go. Just troll it along like that. Yeah, so we're getting some bites. Go ahead and get up. Keep an eye on that. Waiting for it to go, like, way down. And I haven't seen it do that yet. Boy, it's scooting pretty fast, though, isn't it? Oh, that one's got something. I think. We got somebody on the end? No, we don't. Okay. Okay, that one's definitely getting a bite. Let's go ahead and try to take that. We got somebody on there? Yes, we do. What could you be? You're not very... They're not very difficult, to say that. Like, you can bring the drag up, and, and you're okay. I'm going to bring it up even more than that. Oh, hello. And you are a Xander. Very nice. Well, that's cool. Release you. Haven't caught anything on the right side yet. Oh, I'm hearing something there. Got something on the right? Come here, you. What do we got? Nope, nothing there. Oh, yeah. It's just not very big. We're catching them, but they're just, they're not big at all. Wow. You're easy to reel in with this. What are you? Another Xander. Very nice. Okay, well. Put you back in the water. And that's pretty much trolling fishing, man. We're just uh, dragging them behind the boat for the most part. It's pretty darn cool. Okay, we're going to try to catch a spotted gar. I'm really excited for that because we used to do that whenever I was younger um, in Missouri, of all places. So let's go ahead and start to do that. We're going to be using this setup here. It's a Phoenix 450 uh, Hornet Swarm 5000 SE braid of a 0.17 millimeter pear shaped float hook uh two of zero and large minnows is what we're going to be going for um so let's go ahead and advance time we'll shoot about eight o'clock in the morning is what we're going to go for on that so last songs of summer hopefully we can catch ourselves a gar and look at this we have found other fishermen that looks like i'm not the only one trying to get some gar today what's up everybody hello <laughs> oh that's awesome all right so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna try to get ourselves i love how the online fishing now you can see the person and you can fish alongside them that is so cool i do like that a lot i think somebody just caught something cool let's throw that out there there we go what did he catch i'm not really sure i'm gonna keep an eye on our bobber though pull some of this line in man a lot of slack in the line there we go. Get a little bit closer. As the river pulls it down, that makes sense. Oh, he's catching something. What's he got over there? He's reeling it in. Bring mine in. I haven't been catching anything over here. But I want to see what it looks like when they bring one out. Nope, he didn't catch anything either. 
The other guy disappeared. I'll be damned. So it uh, must be known, uh, it must be said, actually, that you have to be online with this game. This game is not an offline game. Uh, and you're always in lobbies with people, which is pretty cool. I do like that uh, aspect of it, of the community. It's pretty darn cool. But, I mean, I remember when I used to play Fishing Planet and you couldn't even see people. And now we can uh, see them reeling and, and all that. And you can kind of hound them and say, what's up, man? <laughs> Who's that? That's uh, S-K-C-Z. Well, it turns out you can catch weeds because we just did Dark Hornwort. <laughs> You can keep it or you can discard it. Uh, I'm going to try advancing some time. That's what I'm going to try to do. We're going to try the Catfish Haven out and see if uh, we have any luck with this. And we got Kazmund over here doing some uh, fishing. Very nice. Uh, let's throw this thing out. What's the water's going that way? Oh, see, I see. That's where we were earlier, right across the way. And this is where you can bring a kayak out, which is pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, throw that out about right there. And let it float down. Okay, that's awesome. I was hearing a buzzing the whole time. It's this big dragonfly on the end of my pole. He just landed on it. Hey, get off of there. Get off of there. There he goes. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. How oh, nice he caught a fish right in front of us. All right, Casman. Not bad at all. Man, I'm not having any luck uh, at this time on Gar. So we're going to try a different time. Let's see if that helps. Okay, no luck with uh, the spotted gar. Let's try to catch a sterlet in the Aktuba River uh, in Russia. So this is our setup here. We got a simple belt on top of everything here. Uh, quiver tip of three ounces, the big alley, 420 SE big river, 6000 SE braid of uh, 0.22 millimeter open feeder, 100 grams for that sucker. Uh, and then monoliter of a 0.3 and a hook one. We're going to be using medium cut bait. All right, we have a choice of taking the kayak out or our little John boat. I think we're going to go for the kayak first, and we'll see uh, how that goes. In we go. Okay, so this is how we do this. Uh, steer away from that. That'll work. All right, so this is what kayak fishing is going to be like. We're going to come out here into the center. It's going to be a little scary trying to catch a massive fish like this on a kayak, but... Nonetheless, we're gonna try. We are gonna try. So let's go ahead and get this thing out in the water. Let's see which way the current's actually taking us. Looks like it might be going to the right. Yeah, a little bit. We're gonna throw it way out here. So let's do that. Way as far out as we can go with it. That'll work. And boom. Beautiful. See to clip the line if we want to. Okay, do we have a little holder on here? I don't think we do. We're just going to wait and see what happens here. Ooh, I heard a bell. I hear a bell again. Come on, buddy. Come on. Bring it in, bring it in. Way too much slack, way too much slack, way too much slack. Set that hook. Got something on the line there, though. I'll take it. Oh, man, he's pulling us pretty good there, too, in our kayak. Wow, we I keep bringing him in, keep bringing him in. Get our drag up here too. There we go. Bring him to us. Hey, look at that. We got somebody. Oh, <laughs> a whale's catfish. Well, I'm happy we caught something, even though it wasn't uh, what we were after. That's okay. We'll let, let him go. But uh, boy, he was uh, biting at that for a little bit. I like the little bell. That's pretty cool. Um, I had no luck on that other side of the river, and I turned around, and I just shot down this way instead. We'll release him back into the world of which he came. So let's go ahead and escape, and we'll head back to the main menu stuff. So to let you know about the packs and the DLC, uh, this is currently, uh, these two packs are free to uh, players that have pre-ordered the game. Um, and then the rest of this stuff is going to be a in-game currency. So it's not the microtransaction stuff. Uh, that we have seen in the past. And I got to say, I really have been enjoying the fact that we don't have that crammed down our throat. The free to play style is really not something I enjoy. So this is really cool. You, you, you have a base price, you pay for it, and it's good to go. When is the game coming out? It comes out today. So you can go grab it and check it out yourself. Anywho, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.